Wealthwave has a significant impact that reaches beyond local communities. With over 350 appearances on major networks like ABC, CBS, CNBC, Fox, NBC, and Sirius XM, and features in Newsweek and the Wall Street Journal, Wealthwave, along with the Money Book series, has established a strong presence in the financial industry. These media features not only enhance our message of financial education, but also add credibility. They enable us to engage a wide audience and lead conversations on financial literacy, reinforcing our role in promoting financial empowerment. Our dedicated network of educators work together to foster knowledgeable and financially empowered clients. Good morning and welcome everyone. I'm super excited to hop on this morning to share with you what I've been up to. I recently had a friend reach out to me on Facebook Messenger and she's like, I'm not really sure what you're doing, but I'm interested. And so welcome. I want to share with you all that I am part of an amazing opportunity. Some of you know that I am a serial entrepreneur. I'm someone who is passionate about helping people to grow, to learn, and to just become the best version of themselves that they can be. And so I have the pleasure of sharing with you a little bit more information about what I am doing. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions, feel free. You can put them in the comment section of this video and let's jump into it. So I am currently a licensed financial professional. Some of you may know that I was a math teacher. I taught mathematics for about seven years and it was amazing. I taught algebra, geometry, all the things I like. I absolutely love math. I consider it to be my math, my math, my, um, my love language. And so one of the things that happened during that time though, is I realize now that I actually did my students a disservice. I did not teach them how money works, nor did I teach them how to actually pursue financial freedom. And so I am grateful for this opportunity that I have to share with you an industry that literally can change the legacy of your family's future. So there are different industries up on the screen here that you see. You see financial, real estate, retail, technology. The financial services industry is one that is over $150 trillion, okay? And the reason why this industry is so large is because everyone interacts with money, right? That's a given. And so what I really appreciate about the industry that I'm a part of now is that we get to impact so many people's lives by the work that we do, okay? So I am privileged to be connected with so many powerful, reputable companies. So in our industry, there's something called being captive and uncaptive. So I actually have access to over 140 different companies. Some of them you may know of. Nationwide, Nationwide is on your side. Prudential, Global Atlantic. And so with these companies, I am able to reach out to them and find out what the best solution is for the families that I'm working with and get them the best rates. Unlike some financial professionals where you're bound to only one company and one product. I have an access to hundreds upon hundreds to be able to help the families that I work with the best way. And so there was a problem and I wanna highlight it today. Financial illiteracy is the number one economic crisis in the world that is impacting over 5 billion people globally. And I just want you all to know that this is by design. Our whole society has been built in a way where there are people on the top, there are people on the, in the middle, and then there are people on the bottom. And it's been designed that way. And I don't know if you realize it, but the middle class is phasing out. There are so many people, unfortunately, that just don't have the tools that they need in order to ensure that their family is taken care of financially. 44% of Americans can't cover a $400 emergency. They're living paycheck to paycheck. And this unfortunate statistic is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I shared with you before that I'm a former math teacher and I actually have access to so many proprietary tools. I'm gonna drop a link for you later on in the chat where you can access my website. You can download any one of our free eBooks that really lay the foundation 
as to the tools that you need for financial literacy. So I am here to address this overwhelming problem that is crippling thousands of families in the US. So how am I doing it? We have seven money milestones. I teach about financial education, having proper protection, develop an emergency fund, debt management, cash flow, building wealth, as well as protecting the wealth that you have built, okay? So Stephanie, I see your comment. I'm gonna connect with you. I'll text you. And yes, we can definitely meet at one o'clock. Thanks for reaching out. And so I am encouraged because there are people who are actually searching for a way to ensure that their family is taken care of. So those are the people I'm talking to. If you don't think this is important and you don't really see the value, honestly, I'm gonna just be real with y'all. You can tune off and I won't be offended. But if you are serious about making sure that your family is taken care of, I want you to share this broadcast with everyone you know as I continue going through the slides. So take a look at the pie chart. About half of people's living expenses go from their paycheck into just their daily living, where it be paying mortgage, paying a rent, paying utility bills, half of their paycheck, okay? Another percentage goes to taxes and another percentage goes to debt. Unfortunately, some people don't have enough to save because 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. My goal is to change that. So I wanna tell you all about a powerful rule, okay? If you want, you can definitely get your notepad so you can write it down because this rule can literally change the trajectory of your life. The rule of 72, it states that if you take 72 and divide it by the interest rate of return, for the money that you have, whether it be in your checking account, savings account, CD, if you have it invested in stocks, whatever it is, take that 72 and divide it by the interest rate. It will tell you exactly how long it's going to take for your money to double. Okay. So let's look at an example. Let's say someone has 1% of an interest rate. It's going to take that money 72 years to double. Let's say the person had 6% of an interest rate. It's going to take that person 12 years in order for their money to double. Now, if you have a 12% interest rate, it's going to take you only six years for your money to double. Now, let's take a look at the right side of the screen where we're comparing the 6% and the 12%. I want you to specifically look at age 60. Okay, so if two individuals started with $1,000 and their money was compounding over time, doubling over time, the person who only had a 6% interest rate at the age of 60 would have $32,000. Compared to the other person, if they had a 12% interest rate at the age 60, they would have over a million dollars. This rule is powerful. And this is what I'm talking about. When I taught mathematics in school, I didn't teach my students this rule. I taught them E equals MC, E equals MC squared. I taught them Y equals MX plus B. And the reality of it is my students are not using that today. But the rule of 72 is something that could really have um, been something that they can implement in their lives. So what I want to share now is that the key is for you to not wait when it comes to saving. Start now. The earlier you start, the less money you're gonna to have to save on a monthly basis to reach your goals. So just really quickly, this chart shows if you're age 20, if you wanna reach a million dollars, all you gotta save is $113 a month, that's it. But if you wait to age 60, you gotta save over $8,000 a month. And I don't know about you, but that math is math then. I say start sooner than later, okay? So I love what I do because the numbers don't lie. And this is something that if we really had the knowledge, so many of us could be in a different position. I want to transition now and share with you that I want to talk to the people now that are passionate about what the things I'm sharing. And not only do they want to help themselves, but they also want to do what I'm doing, want to make an impact in the world that we live on. And so our business is built on three pillars. We provide education. I can provide resources, courses, um, well, not really courses, presentations to schools, to your workforce, um, different community um, centers that you may have. I can provide education and teach people these concepts so that large communities of people can be set to win, okay? Now, from those group of students, 
some of them may become my clients. They might decide, you know what, Lameka, the thing that you're sharing, it makes sense to me. I want you to help me put my family in a position to thrive in the future. And they would then become my clients. And then some people say, you know what, I actually want to partner with you, Lameka. And just so you guys know, I'm pretty new in this industry, but guess what? My team is growing. I have over 20. Tw actually not over. I have 20 associates on my team that have decided to do what I am doing. So they are actively my business partners. They are working towards um, eradicating financial illiteracy just as I am. I want to break down to you what it looks like to do what I do as an entrepreneur to own your own business. So these numbers are not set in stone. Let me just clarify. Everybody's situation is different. This is just a model for you to see what the potential is, okay? So at the top, we're gonna take it from the top. Let's say that you help a family who decides that they need to get a life insurance policy. We offer many products, that's just one of them. And it's gonna fit their goals. It's gonna take them to where they need to be in the future. Let's say the policy that they get is $350. The IUL just stands for our Index Universal Life Policy. Let's say they get that, their premium is $350 a month. If you alone are at our level, which is a marketing director, you would get 50% of the commission sales on that business. So let's say you help four families a month. Your income every month would be around $8,000 and annually it would be over $100,000, okay? Now let's say, you know what? I don't wanna do this alone. I know that, it is better for me to work together than to work alone. And you decide that you want to build a team. Let's say everyone in your team is doing the same thing, helping about four families a month. That is going to translate to your team helping 12 families a month. So your personal income shoots up to about $15,000 a month, leading you to almost $200,000 a year annually. Okay. So these numbers are powerful. And I'm just going to give you guys my own testimony. I started on May 20th of this year, pretty recently, okay? And started for me just means I came on board. I was studying to get my license. I took my exam and I got my license on July 26th of this year. Within less than two months, my first commission check was actually almost $7,000. And I'm sharing the numbers and the timeline with you on purpose because I want you to understand that most businesses that you start, it takes three to five years to be profitable. I know because I used to own a franchise, okay? And so when I learned the power of being able to be in an industry like this and to make a rate of return on my investment, which was small just to get my license, I was like, I'm a believer. It makes sense to me. Let me keep going. So in this industry, there are three ways to success. One, you can be a referral partner. You can say, you know what, Lameka, I'm actually not interested in getting my license, but I do understand what you're doing. I support you and I want to be your referral partner. If you decide to do that, you will get 25% of all the business that is done. You can tap into your network. It is a great way for you to earn income and you literally just refer people to me and I will take it from there, okay? The next way is part-time. That's if you decide to work about 20 to 40 hours a week that times varies. I really just tell people when you work part-time with us, it basically means that you have other stuff going on. You might have a full-time job. You might be having some other engagements that you're doing. This is not your focus. In that case, you are definitely able to be that licensed professional, grow your team, and on your way to then becoming full-time if you choose to. Being full-time, 40 hours a week, you have your own business. And I want to explain to you, there's a difference between being self-employed and being a business owner. When you're self-employed, that just means you own your job. But when you're a business owner, you have a system and that system runs like a machine. So you can step away, you can go on vacation, you can do whatever you like to do and you are still be, being able to have that residual income coming into your life, okay? So now I mentioned to you guys earlier that I used to own a franchise, okay? Now, the good thing about a franchise is that you're buying into a model that's already established. And I recommend that for anyone going into business because you can have a great product, you can have a great service, but if you don't know how to market, brand, and advertise, and those are three different things, by the way, if you don't know how to do that, you are not going to excel. So whenever someone decides to come on board with me on my team and really work towards this mission of educating people about financial literacy, you receive so many 
resources, okay? Everyone receives access to free websites, free eBooks that they can pass out to their family. We have free social media tools. You do not have to build anything from scratch. So that means that you don't have to focus on creating materials. It's all provided and you can focus on building your business. Okay, so we have a reputable business model. We have been featured on many major network stations and as a new business owner, this is important because people only know you for what you used to do, right? And so when you come on and you say, oh, I'm a financial professional, they're going to want to know, well, how can I trust you? Where's your credibility? And we have the backing of so many leaders in this industry that you can tap into, mentors, where we are in a position to be able to say that as an industry, as a company, as a business, we have a sound backing. Okay, so with that said, I am here to make history. I am here to really change it so that I don't want to see any more Facebook posts of people passing away saying that they need to have a GoFundMe in order to bury their family members. That needs to stop, okay? I'm telling you today, it needs to stop. So two things, if you need assistance, if you need help with me looking at your financial I'm looking at that to assess where you need to be, how you're going to reach your goals. I offer that complimentary. I would love to sit down with you. You can message me directly in Facebook. I would love to schedule a session with you. I do want you to know that my schedule fills up quickly. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love to offer you that complimentary session. I do not charge any of for any of the services that I offer because the companies that I represent, they pay me. So that's a benefit to you. And if anything I said, sparked your interest on the business side. And you say, you know what? I'm looking to make extra income. I'm coachable. I'm humble. I want to learn. I would love to sit down with you and see if this is really a good fit for you. So with that said, I hope that you all have an amazing Saturday and take this message seriously. You have the power to change the financial history of your family's life. Take advantage of it. Have an amazing day, everyone.